Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the IoT automated security solution up and running on your local computer. The easiest way to find details on any skillet that the Strata Technical Solution team created is to go to the live community. On the live community webpage, under collaboration, we will go to the solutions district, which is where all the details about skillets and automations are published. On the main district page, you should see a featured skillets tab. And underneath that, there is a post for IoT automated solutions skillet. We're gonna click in there. In this post, there's a lot of information on different elements of the automation and on the prerequisites for running the skillet. If we look underneath the prerequisites, you will see that you will need Panhandler version 4.0 or later. Panhandler is a tool that the automation team created in order to run the automations. So I currently have this already installed, but if you need help doing this, you can click on this link right here and a quick start guide for Panhandler will pop up. In addition, we will need to import the PanOS logging skillets repo into Panhandler since this houses the automation that enables Cortex Data Lake. One of the most important things on this post is the GitHub location for our IoT automation solution. Um, I have this repo already pulled up in another tab as well as the CDL enablement one. So that is uh, github.com slash Palo Alto Networks slash IoT automated solution and Palo Alto Networks slash PanOS logging skillets. Both of these links are incredibly important to get the IoT automation up and running. So now I am going to access my containerized panhandler instance over HTTP using port 8080. This is in the, the quick start guide. And I am going to navigate to skillet repos in order to import a skillet repository. So in here, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have the ability to enter a valid git HTTPS or SSH URL so that your local panhandler can clone an instance of a repo in order to run it. So I'm going to go back to the IoT automated solution repo and I am going to copy the HTTPS URL um, by just clicking code and then clone. And now that I have that copy to my clipboard, I am going to go back into Panhandler and paste that in right here. You have the ability to name the repo. And just to reduce confusion, I am going to name it the same exact name as the GitHub repository. So once you submit this, once I submit that, Panhandler will clone that repo. And I'm going to do the same thing for the PanOS logging skillets. So I'm going to copy the URL, click import skillet repository, scroll down, enter the entire URL, and then name it PanOS logging skillets. So now you can see in your imported repositories collection that you have IoT automated solution and the PanOS logging skillet repositories. With them imported, we need to figure out the easiest way to find the starting point of this skillet. The easiest way for me is to go into skillet collections. You will probably see a lot of tabs open up if you have other skillets imported, but we are going to go into the IoT collection tab. With that open, you should see four tabs for the four skillets in this collection. There are two workflows, one PanOS skillet and one Pan validation skillet. The starting point for the IoT automation is a workflow skillet, so we can filter based on that by clicking workflow. Now that you see only two, the starting point for the entire automation is the next gen firewall configurations for IoT readiness. If you click go, you will have the workflow page pull up and all ready to go. In another video, I will explain the options available for this workflow. 
Thank you.